one of the critical aspects of CBDCs is that they are centrally controlled and they will have controls on spending. They will have what they will call anti-money laundering controls that will prevent you from buying certain things or prevent you from buying anything if your account's frozen. Will they prevent Mohammed bin Salman from buying cluster bombs? No, of course not. That's not money laundering. That's what dollars were designed to do. But they will prevent you from buying Bitcoin, perhaps. The thing you have to really be careful with, with central bank digital currencies, is that you're not just looking at a currency. You're looking at a currency with an integrated command control and surveillance system. It's the whole package. It doesn't just come with monetary value. I wanted to talk about the four elements of money. Money as a means of exchange, et cetera, et cetera. You know the three. But uh, money as a means of control being the fourth feature of money. And how when money as a means of control becomes more important than money as a means of exchange or any of the other functions of money that traditionally have been important. Central bank digital currencies are the ultimate destination of money as a means of control. That's the nirvana, if you like, of money as a means of control or a dystopian ending, depending on your perspective.